for eight days. She was identified. The police had her elder brother, Robert Dell, my brother's new address, as well as her Arizona State identification at the address of my niece, Aura, who did the welfare check for our family weekly. Yet my sister laid in the morgue for eight days. After getting the police report, we, with great difficulty, we learned that Pekovic said he had not had any alcohol, but he had blew a .031. He fell several steps in the sobriety test. The first responding officer wrote in the report two times that he showed signs of impairment. It was further devastating to learn that one hour and 50 minutes later, another officer comes and do an eye exam and let him drive off with my sister and Joseph's gut and fluid, body fluid on his car as though he did nothing. Instead of us mourning my sister this year, we have been fighting to hold Nebraska Pekovic accountable for killing two people while under the influence of something, he said he didn't drink anything. And when the officer asked him, he said he took two doses of Dayquil. We know that Dayquil does not have anything in it that will affect you. He killed two people. He was going 58 to 60 miles an hour, five seconds before he hit them. There was a car here that stopped a a, a, a Range Rover that was in the middle that stopped and was on his way past them. When he comes around and kills him, they were only inches from the side. Our witnesses say he was zigzagging in and out of traffic. I agree with you. This has no business here. It should be felony. It should be a felony for Maricopa County. Again, our family was denied. They got the case on the first. Denied it on the first. So it, it, it should be a felony. And so we're asking you that there is plenty, plenty, plenty to the prosecutor, more than enough evidence. If, if he only going to get six months, we want him to be held to the full extent of that six months. He killed two people for a whole year. He has been free to do whatever he want to do. Not us. I live in California. I haven't, you know how much money I've spent to come here to fight the police for a police report, fight the system so that we can be, they can be held accountable to often sit on the case five months until I call the police chief. Nothing happened in this case until we called the police chief. He is getting privileges that no other citizen that I know of in my community, we don't get these kind of privileges. He's not here today. He fell on February 7th to even show up. He's so disrespectful to our family because he does not show up. You don't even show up to take responsibility to say not guilty. It is today is my sister's birthday. This is the day that he killed her. Do you know this is the day you killed my sister? And you killed Joseph Gutierrez. I don't know him. I've never seen him. My niece may have heard him one time or so. I don't know him, but he belongs to somebody. And just because there are children in the back room way. And now they're human beings, and we love my sister. Maybe we didn't like her at the park, and we did it. But we loved her, and we went to see her and check on her. My niece is here every week. Because we loved her. She is not a throwaway. You don't just get to kill her and go back to life as usual. And so disrespectful, you don't even come to court. You don't even come to court. How disrespectful are you? You don't even come to court and be a man and take responsibility for what you did to plead guilty or not guilty. So That's yes, we want you to mm -hmm. to the full extent That's of the law, it. and if we have anything to do with it, we'll be in Washington, D.C., because that's what we do, that's okay? Right. I'm with families that fight. Michael Brown's family, Andrew Joseph, uh, uh, Ronald Green, uh, Miles, Miles, Miles. Oh. I'm oh. sorry, sorry. But families have come here from all over the country 
So they have been fighting for their loved one, and I, I have been supporting them, and I thank them for being here. And my family, my children, I got a grandbaby. The weekend that Dorothy was killed, well, the, that weekend that we didn't know, my oldest, my middle baby, who was a dentist, she was an orthodontist dentist, so she was having her first child for 30 years. We were all here. We were all here. We made family, family from everywhere. Celebrating that while my sister laid in the water and we didn't even have a clue. That baby is suffering from a lack of, I'm one of them grandmas. I love my grandchildren. I love my children. This time that I've been here this last year, taken away from my family, while you get to do whatever you want, you're free, and then you're so disrespectful, you don't even come here and address the court. You're disrespectful to our family. And you're disrespectful to the court. And I said that on February 7th. And the fact that you had to be picked up after you knew you were supposed to be in court on the 7th, you still didn't come. I had to go to the police. Your Honor, you Excuse you. Whoa, excuse you. Wow. Now you already moved the phone. Disrespectful as well. All right. There will be, we are going to treat each other with respect in my courtroom. But he shouldn't have moved the phone because his client can't hear. There will be no talking out. <coughs> I'm going to allow Ms. Is it Ms. Johnson? Yes. Ms. Johnson to finish her piece. She says she's okay. coming to the end. And then I'm going to allow her to finish. And then counsel, if you want to speak at the bench, we will speak at the bench. But there will be no other people talking out from the gallery or else they will need to step outside. So please don't continue. I do, I will, I'm going to accept it. I got to see where I was at. Oh my goodness. That. The bottom line is this. The box protector list has been out of here. As I was saying, my, my, my grandson, who soon will be one, God willing, has suffered because I'm not able to do what I need to do because I've been here doing unnecessary stuff that should have been automatic. But I've been fighting the whole system just to hold this one person accountable for not killing one person, but killing two people while speeding. In the 40 mile zone, doing 58 to 60 miles an hour, that's for the black box today. I'm not making up anything in this case. The, 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 the report said he had a .031. He said he didn't do anything. He said he only took Dayquil. All of these things, and he flunked the sobriety test. He flunked two, uh, several steps in there. The officer said that he should have been given a blood test. Because the job wasn't done for him to have a blood test, we wouldn't even be having this discussion if he had a blood test. We wouldn't even be doing this, but it's been a whole year of hell. Somebody came by my house to threaten my life on September 11th. I feel like it was him, because it looked like him to me. And, and told us whatever he's doing, shut it down. It's not gonna be good for us. And then they followed us in a car. So our family has been through hell for a year. We're the victims. It doesn't seem like we're the victims. We're not getting the rights that victims get. And so we want him held to the full extent of the law of six months, six months in jail for killing two people. That's still a prison as far as we are concerned. And as you say, he should not be here. We know that. And we know he has no ability to do anything about that. But I thank you for listening. We have my, uh, my family here. We have more family, but we have our, our, our families that we go around this country fighting for justice. And I know if I'm fighting for justice, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to say the family of Oxford Grant from the movie Brookfield Station. Uh, our family, if we're going across this country fighting uh, for justice for all these families, uh, I'm definitely, definitely am going to be fighting for my sister and Joseph Lucy Everett that I do not know. So thank you, uh, Your Honor, for allowing me to uh, say these words. And I'm sure I missed something because I was. Uh, mm, that's I right. Say, 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 say.